Hello everyone, in this problem we are going to replace the loading by an equivalent resultant force and a specify its location on the beam measure from point A. So in this problem is a trapezoidal loading, which means that we have to separate into, into a triangle and a rectangle. So if I draw a rectangle here, this distance of course would be 2 kN and the rest of that would be 3 kN per meter. So I have a triangle as well as a rectangle. I can find the resultant force for each case. Let's start with a rectangle. So I will call it FR1. The magnitude would be the area under the curve. The distance is 2 meter plus 4 meter would be 6 times 2. So for this case, I have 6 times 2 would be 12 kN. And for FR2, I have 3 kN here, again multiply by 6 meter, but because it's a triangle, I have to divide it by 2 as well. So that would be 3 times 6 divided by 2. So this will give me 9 kN. So if I want to write them here. FR1 was 12 kN and FR2 is 9 kN. So the total FR, which would be FR1 plus FR2, will give me 21 kN. So that's the first part of the problem. The second part is finding where they are acting. So we know for the Rectangular load is acting in the middle, so that would be 3 meter from this side. And for a triangular load, we know it's acting one third from the length, so the length is 6 meter, the total is 6 meter, and one third from the right side, which means 2 meter. So if this one is 3, this one is 2, we know the distance between the two is also 1 meter. But we want to replace it by one, by an equivalent resultant force. So I need to further simplify this and have it one load, FR. So I need to know where this FR is acting or find X bar with respect to point A. I know the magnitude because FR is simply FR1 plus FR2. But to make sure that I find the location, the moment that FR is acting is creating about point A should be the same as the moment that these two forces are creating about point A. So if I set the two moments equal, then I can find the location. So if I say summation of moment about point A, counterclockwise should be the same for both cases. For this case, this one is creating a clockwise moment, so negative FR X bar. And for here, FR1 is creating a clockwise negative, the moment arm is 3 meter, so negative FR1 moment arm 3, FR2 is creating a negative moment as well, and that would be 4, the moment arm would be 4. So in this equation, we have already found FR1, FR2, and FR. The only unknown is X bar. So I can find X bar as FR1 times 3 should be 12 times 3 would be 36 
plus 9 times 4 would be 36 divided by fr which would be 21 which gives me 3.42 meter so i replaced my distributed loading which was a trapezoidal loading with only one fr which is acting at x bar so our answer final answer is this x bar and this fr 